Mr. Speaker, as Caribbean people, we are known to be very sociable people. So, Mr. Speaker, me like thousands, for the most part, of Caribbean people, St. Lucian people, we're tired of wearing the mask. We're tired of wearing the mask, Mr. Speaker. We're tired of staying indoors. Mr. Speaker, we're tired of not being able to take a line. We're tired of not being able to socialize in the Kaba way with all walks of life, Mr. Speaker. We're tired of not being able to go to church. We're tired of not being able to go to the river, not being able to go to the waterfalls. For those of us who have that in our community. We're tired, Mr. Speaker, that we could not have continued our successful cricket match in Cruzel under the lights that were installed under this administration, Mr. Speaker. We're tired of the fact, Mr. Speaker, that we cannot have the football competition that draws crowds and bring our young people together, Mr. Speaker. We're very tired, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, and with that tiredness comes a level of frustration and some pain, Mr. Speaker. But, Mr. Speaker, it is a pain, it is a pain, Mr. Speaker, that I choose to accept, Mr. Speaker. As a responsible son, as a responsible father, as a responsible parliamentary representative, as a responsible minister, and as a responsible citizen minister, Mr. Speaker, it is a pain that I'm willing to accept for as long as it's going to take, Mr. Speaker, to address the predicament that we're in currently.